Good morning. So, um, delightful to be here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our uh, data from MD Anderson and the collaboration of two different institutions to look at the uh, risk of recurrence for patients that have HER2 positive disease and smaller tumors, one centimeter or less. So the purpose of our study was to evaluate the risk of recurrence in women diagnosed with T1As or T1Bs. That means tumors one centimeter or less, no negative HER2 positive breast cancer. The methodology was very simple. We uh, basically look at our uh, database and identify patients with these tumors. We identified 965 patients. 77 of them had hormone receptor positive disease. 13% had triple negative disease. And 10% had HER2 positive disease. Then uh, we... Um, Ask the help from two, collaborat two collaborators, uh, from, uh, one from the General Hospital of Lobon in Austria and the second one from the Institute George Bordet in Brussels, and uh, had 350 patients more to validate our findings. Uh, it is just important to uh, remind you that uh, all these cases were reviewed by uh, dedicated breast pathologists, the size of the tumors was remeasured, and the markers were repeated. So these are the characteristics of the patients, and it is important only to uh, highlight that uh, about um, half of the patients were, pro, uh, were premenopausal. Most of the patients had ductal carcinoma, which is the most, type, uh, the most common type of breast cancer. And about 56% uh, of the patients had T1B tumors. That means tumors that were uh, 6 to 10 millimeters. Uh, as I said, um, hormone receptor positive disease was in 77% of the patients. Uh, these are actually the important findings of the study, and you can see are the survival curves, and you can look at the recurrence-free survival and the distant recurrence-free survival for patients with HER2 positive versus HER2 negative disease. The recurrence-free survival for patients with HER2 uh, positive disease was uh, 77%. What that means is that these guys had a, a five-year recurrence risk of about 23% compared to a five-year recurrence risk of about 6% of the patients that were HER2 negative. And when we look at the um, survival curves at the right, you can see that the, her the patients that had HER2 positive disease were the patients that had the worst prognosis. It's very important to notice that these patients did not have any adjuvant therapy with chemotherapy or with Herceptin. So then we look at the multivariate analysis, which means basically can we correct for other prognostic factors and see if HER2 is really an independent predictor of prognosis in these patients. And what we can look is that uh, patients that had HER2 positive disease had about 2.6 times or 2.7 times the risk of having a recurrence compared with patients that had HER2 negative disease. And uh, these findings was uh, independent if they had hormone receptor positive or negative disease, independent of the age that the patients were diagnosed with breast cancer, the tumor grade or the size of the tumor comparing T1Bs or T1As, so meaning tumors of 5 millimeters or less or tumors over 5 millimeters to 1 centimeter. Then if we look at the validation uh, study with the other institutions, we look again that the patients that had HER2 positive breast cancer had a higher risk of recurrence uh, with, a significant, uh, with a statistical significant p-value. So in conclusion, uh, we, uh, what we're uh, saying with this study is that patients that have small tumors that are uh, one centimeter or less are at high, uh, if these tumors are HER2 positive, they're at high risk for recurrence, and we should start thinking about uh, discussing adjuvant therapy to this patient, as well as make clinical trials, especially make clini uh, clinical trials available for them uh, in order for them to receive anti-HER2 therapy. Thank you.